Last week on Windfall, we got to snorkel with the manatees in Crystal River, which was really, really good fun. on gas and groceries for our 50 mile uh, cruise over to Sarasota, which is our next destination. We're leaving, um, where are we? Clearwater, we're leaving Clearwater tomorrow morning. So we're loading up, got some good stuff in there. We're hopping in. Living life on the water, we're lucky enough to catch the sunrise and the sunset every day, and that is a beautiful thing. Ryan's uncle took him for a few days to get a nice bed and a hot shower, so it was just Dad and I for the intercoastal sail of about 30 to 40 nautical miles. So I hoisted up the anchor and we took off. We're trying a fancy uh, way of sailing called wing on wing, where the boom goes one way, where the mainsail goes one way and the jib goes the other. Bogsley did it up there. Oh, there's a dolphin! Woo! Hi, dolphins! Sorry, everybody. I get very distracted when I see these dolphins. <laughs> I'll try to do better about that. Uh, what I was saying about the wing on wing is it's when your mainsail is one way and your jib is another way. It can only be done on a downward wind sail when the wind is directly behind you. Um, and it's just kind of a fancy way of sailing, so we kind of tried to give it a go. We saw our friend Wade do it in front of us, so we decided to try it out. Didn't last for very long, but it was uh, cool to see a different way of sailing. So Danny, while we were waiting for the bridge to open, which is right over here, we're running the intercoastal down to uh, Tampa, Florida, and she figured she'd get and pump out all the water from... Uh, we got a leak in the dinghy, and we got to somehow fix it here sooner or later, but we just been trying to pound out these miles to try and you know, we want to get down in the keys in the next five six seven days and uh, we only got about a hundred miles maybe a little less or i mean 175 miles so we're trying to get down there and get this taken care of and be done so we can start getting some things done make a little money get ready for the bahamas well i just dropped my phone in the water back there i was uh trying to get the cat because i thought he was gonna fall in and my phone fell in. So that sucks. Um, our Instagram's probably gonna be not very up to date because that's what we were using for Instagram. And uh, all the contacts I've made on this trip so far are kind of gone. But uh, I don't know, we'll just have to figure it out. That was our only phone on board, so hopefully we can get it figured out. So I'm not having very good luck with electronics. I think I'm gonna put the camera away for a little while and uh, put my book away and not lose anything else. So hopefully we can get my hard drive fixed and a phone for me. Congrats. See ya. Running the intercoastal is a little bit different than running on the Gulf. We have to deal with um, the shallowness of the river as well as a bunch of lift bridges and swing bridges that we have to uh, get the captain's uh, approval to open up and close. like a uh, box we got a friend over there. Where are you? There's Diego. Jumping around his damn boat. What are you doing over there, kitty? He leaped right over. He wasn't scared. <laughs> Luckily on this day we were still able to hoist our sails and sail right down the intercoastal. Uh, 
as plant that I told him. I told him it was gonna fall over and we should tie it down, but no, he says. Oh, it's gonna be just fine, he says. That's not going anywhere, he says. Okay, guess who's cleaning that up? This man. I'm not cleaning that up. I told you that was gonna fall over. I told you so. Kitty, quit digging through it. You quit, Kitty, it's gonna take a, he's probably gonna pee in there. Get out of there, Kitty. No, that's not, get out of there. Quit digging around. because our day wasn't going uh, badly enough with me dropping my phone in the water and the dirt is filling everywhere, but guess what happens to our jib? Kitty! Come here, kitten. You stay just right here with me. Uh -uh, you stay with me. Our roller furling is uh, no good sometimes, so our jib uh, comes out and uh, it's kind of hard to get it back in. We're at anchor right now, so. Oh my god! No, no, you stay here. So the boys are trying to fix it now. Wade and now uh, my dad. Ryan is with his uncle. Visiting for a couple of days. Holy crap! Piece of junk. Now bungee cord that bitch down! Yeah. What? Oh, I thought we tore, tore it or yeah, something. Yeah. There's so many. Oh my oh, god. There's like 16 there. of them. Oh man, that one is rough. That is eight up. Woo! Oh, and we're here. Where did we end up? We don't even know where we are right now. We're about 10 miles from Sarasota, so wherever that is, is where we are right now. We're what? I said we're about 10 miles from Sarasota, so wherever that is, is where we are right now. Yeah, we're probably. Looks like we walked into the twilight zone. Okay, so we anchored last night. Um, it got dark, so we decided to stop. Um, about 10 nautical miles from Sarasota. And we decided to do drop our anchor, even though, well, we saw a bunch of boats here, so we were you know, assuming it would be all right because it's so busy. But in the morning, we noticed a couple of these boats are most definitely tipped right over. So that's a little bit scary. It's another one over here. So we found out there's actually just a bunch of derelict boats over here. But uh, for one night, I think we were all right. There's lots of other boats that aren't tipped over. None of them look really all that good. This one over here is tipped over on its side a little, but we're not on ground ourselves, so we're gonna get out of here as quick as we can this morning. <laughs> Bahamas man! <laughs> Dad's jamming to no music because he's got his headphones in. So no one knows what he's listening to. He's just jamming. We're coming into Sarasota! Coming into Sarasota! Not sure what he's looking at. Sarasota is this way. What? <laughs> Nothing. Islander. Pretty exciting. She's from the islands. Alright, we made it. 
made it to Sarasota. We're going under this bridge right now, and then um, I think our Anchorage is just on the other side of it. And then I'm gonna go get myself a new hard drive, get that situated before we do anything, and then, I don't know, maybe go to the beach. It's pretty warm out actually, which is nice because it's been pretty cold lately. So maybe we'll go to the beach. We're coming up on our anchorage. This is all um, mooring balls over here. And then our anchorage is right up in there. Some boats anchored and then there's a ton more over here but this is closer to shore so quite a nice little anchorage. I think it's gonna be good. Get ready to throw anchor, kitty. Get ready to throw anchor. You ain't running for free. Guess who's gonna get a shower today? We are. Dad do needs a shower. So do I, but I don't know. It's only been a couple days, I think. Yay! Here comes uh, Bogsley to get a shower too. I can see the next bridge up there. We ended up with a pretty gorgeous anchor spot for this one. That's carrying the laundry back like Santa Claus right now. You gotta get that stuff when I, uh, Santa's awesome ego over here. <laughs> Santa Claus sucks. <laughs> what? I ain't Don't... Never gotten any good from him. <laughs> you sound like you're going on the dentist rant again. <laughs> no, no dentist rant. Oh man. My teeth have been okay lately. Oh man. You see that sunset that hang? Uh, ooh, it was gorgeous. <laughs> he goes, ooh, it was gorgeous, gorgeous. 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 I'm going to go stick my head in an alligator's mouth just to see what happens. Gorgeous, gorgeous. No, that No, it's from the Animal Planet guy. Steve Irwin, who <laughs> got stung by the stinger and died. What the hell happened to that? Nothing, oh, no, he got stung. Butts with snakes and alligators all in his life, and then a stingray gets. Them. I know. Yeah. It's kind of bizarre. I, think I don't was... think they're telling us the whole truth. The pelicans are uh, waiting by our dinghy over here for this fishing captain that's been throwing fish for them. We're probably gonna get fish guts in our dinghy, but that's okay. What? Hmm? What? I was just filming. Yeah. I want to see him throw a fish at him. You know the difference? Is it the white, the white-headed one? Hello, everybody. Um, I am currently sitting outside the showers, waiting for Dad to come out. Um, we are in Sarasota. Um, we are waiting for Ryan to. Um, his uncle, he went and stayed in, Tam stayed in Tampa for a couple days. I should have given him a camera so we could film it all, but I didn't. I forgot to. So, um, his uncle lives in Tampa. Took him for a few days, and he's going to bring him here later today. So, we're waiting on that. Um, so, we stopped in for a shower, and I'll probably go back to the boat. Um, I might try and clean the boat. I just went to purchase a little, like, a scrub brush, and um, it was, like, $60. So, I said no I'm gonna wait until I can find a cheaper one but I might still try to clean the boat today organize the inside a little bit we're selling a few things trying to get some extra cash and make some more room on the boat so hopefully those things go through and um, so yeah we're gonna organize the boat clean the boat work on another movie tonight and chill out so it'll be a good night I think winds are blowing pretty hard right now so I think we're probably gonna take the intercoastal tomorrow and work our way down to Fort Myers. Um, it'll probably be a two or three day thing. It's 50 nautical miles down. So uh, that'll be good. Uh, I'm excited to get there. We're probably gonna hold up there for a week or something just to kind of chill out because we're all getting a little tired and ready to get down to the Keys and get some work, but we also want to have a good Christmas. So we're gonna probably spend Christmas in Fort Myers. So that'll be fun. Hopefully that um, all works out well. So dad knows the area really well, so it'll be good be good and um i guess that's all for me bye bye 
Join Windfall Crew next week as we enter Fort Myers Beach. We spend about two weeks here and we uh, see lots of things. We end up spending Christmas and New Year's here. And um, as always, thanks for watching, everyone. Please subscribe to see more and head over to uh, Patreon to help keep our production free and keep Windfall afloat. Thanks, everyone.